Good afternoon, and today is September 26, 2023. It's a Tuesday, a second uh, trading day of this week. And we see that today is a really a sell-off day right there. I think the new come out around 9. We look at the economic calendar, right? Calendar, right? So basically, uh, the consumer confidence report and home sale both is uh, come out and the market uh, react negatively. So it's at 10 Eastern time. So around 10, you see. Um, it sell off at 10 start from 10 you see sell up right there boom continue to go down and this one is a short switch right there after short switch it hit into this uh, resistance or supply level because this one is if we look at the five minute time frame, you can see that we draw that earlier in the day. Right here, right? That is the auto block. Because if we want to take a short position right there, then our First target gonna be the sell side liquidity of the prior day low. That's the reason why we put these levels up here, and that to now that's a very critical level right there. You see, it become the mid trend of the DR, and retest that area again. It used to be a support level, right? An auto block, bullish before you go up. But when it break it down, it become a resistance or a bearish uh, breaker right there. And hit there, and it continues to go down. So if we take the trade right here, um, and we let it run, we have a huge profit Of almost five dollar move right now for the yeah so the market really sell up today because those two economic um, data I think it's consumer confidence and the other one is housing index let's see what is the news say about that so what going down Around ten. So yeah, I think around here, right here. So the new how sell is is drop negative and the consumer is 103 it's less than it estimate so this is a negative number that's how it we drew up right there so on the one minute we saw the setup right here it's about 9.44 and we did put out the note, but uh, we did not take the trade when it forming. And that's the thing that we are working on. So, that is set up if form, right? Because at that moment we still think they go long. Right here we see auto block, we say well it's the retest. 
and then we saw the social up right here but we did not immediately thinking about take the social up until around I don't know 10 or 15 minutes later we said wow we didn't see that forming all right but if we take the tray right here we have a setup right there is a Mm, yeah, it's a swing low right here, so it's a barely breaker right there. But if you look carefully, you see the huge fellow got this right there. It's three test one, two, and the three threat three right there. That can give us the idea that this is a very low risk reward trade, right? If our target is the buy seller carry from the prior day then we still in one two five ratio or ratio right there so in terms of ratio or ratio ratio it's a perfect tray it's a very easy tray so we're going at 944 and if our first target is the Friday Friday is 428 23 yeah right here 2020 and it hit there at 10.05 right there so if we target that level then we only in the trade from 9.44 to 10.05 so it's about 21 minute short trade there okay however if we trail our stop lot we will have a huge huge profit gain right there we have another three dollar well if you look yeah if you look at um yeah look at right here the maximum profit is four dollar seventy um four dollar seventy seven when it make a new low right there at four twenty five oh two so mark profits four dollar So without trade minus with four dollar is at I think fifteen hour twenty five fifteen twenty five right there. New low for 25.02 so today is open at 32 open at uh, 29.09 and it close is close is close at 25.96 that's the 5 minute time frame right there so yeah this we, this is the trade that we, we need to study why we hesitant to take the trade right this instead of we just keep looking for long we just see the sword we did saw the sword, I, I remember in the first, but somehow we still thinking, you know, buy at retracement instead of go with the trend. We need to go with at least resistant uh, path right there. Let's take risk screen shot here.
so much profit for $4. And when I look around this time about 1 p.m., I saw that the DR model is come from bearish. So I thinking about wow, that can be a good short right there, and the target can be 0.15 standard deviation, and it did hit right there. So the DR model. Is is working today right now? So let do a look right here. See why we don't see that coming. I remove this for now. Right, what we got up. I also see that right here at the end, it really spy up there with a long wick. So, whoever put a stop lot around here, they all get you know, get execute. Those so is huge, you know, spy right there. It take out, I mean, all, all the buy side equity, it take all the buy side except this level right there. Yeah, the level that it starts to go down, this level right there. So in the London or the ODR, we always see that it swing low and then it swing high, so it, it's like a V-shape, um, you know, run right there. And then after that, it just take the buy side liquidity, so that I signal, tell us it trade the buy side liquidity and it re really really uh, is um, ready to go down it really ready to go down right there but it make a little bit retracement right here and it trapped the uh, the sell side you see it's up for the sell side on on one minute on five minute time stamp we just see a one retracement right there but on one minute it become you can see that on one minute right here it look like a double right there you see double top right there so if you trade it up the top you see that's that Whenever you see the double top into a bearish breaker, then it's a a very reliable setup right there. And we see the sell side we will drop right there, and it boom, it go down and take it, and it never, you know, look back, look at that, boom, who's me out. And right here, I thought it's gonna be reversal, it's gonna be retraceable, but it did not. It continues to go down. It's, it's a, whenever it's, it's a swing high, it got sell off, it got sell off from swing high. Mm. 
Yeah, we can do a source up right here also. Right? So basically right here, it, it swing low right here. So this is a retest. And it also confluent with the prior day, you know, right there. But right here, it swing low. And here displacement and it's just a retest. So we can put a source setup right here also. You can trick this is an auto block right there. Displacement, displacement paragraph and it's a retest. And then let me see if we're going just conserve like the if we're going right here. Right, we put our stop loss. Then, yeah, the tricky of this trade that we don't know how low the market gonna go, so we had to tell a stop lot right there. Basically, we have to move our stop lot. We can look at the one hour time frame. Now look at the daily time frame, right? Let's see if we can identify the target. So the target for South South Liquidity and, and identify this level is almost reached reach general level for today, 424.50 right right now it's 425.88 so it's around $1.38 more let's say tomorrow it, it reached that but that's the level and also we see right here the huge consolidation around here so basically it's from March to June almost three months it consolidated and then boom it's you know it's breakout right there and that's huge gap for the breakout so I think it kind of retest this error and then down to this error and see if this whole um then it will run it back up but if it's not whole it will continue to continue to break down right there but anyway i want to see we still make try to find a target for this setup let's look at a four hour time frame Time frame, let's see. Yeah, yes, you follow time frame. We have another cell cell query around here. that we can identify right here so the cell side of this one is 425.82 wow that's right low 82 425.82 that's the sell side from 
for our time frame. Yeah, this morning we forgot to look at that selection why it's not on our chart. So it the sell side liquidity at four. And now let's look at the one minute time frame. Yeah, right here, right. Yep. A little bit, little bit crowded right here, so let me on the left. You see that sell side. So if we go in right there, then our target gonna be this sell side liquidity. So if we make the source setup right here, we still have a good setup to go short again um, at 10.45. And we still have a very good risk reward ratio right there. Let's move this up a little bit so we can see. Yep. You can treat this as auto block right there. Boom, fill it up with slicement. Retest, retest one. So we read 38 and we gain $2.79 right there. That's another trade for us. Yeah, we can put right here, it's on a farm. The thing is, will be more a breaker, right? It's around a swing low. We continue the our trend, so I think it did not look like clean, but it make more sense that it's a breaker than a an auto block right there. Right, it's swing low, but you can use as auto block also. Retest. So it's come through, right? It's the breaker. This is the breaker and displacement and retest those breaker. This doubt more right here. Or you also look this as auto block right there. So either way. And yeah, we have a huge shell shell of really drop right there. And yeah, we have a buy shell of we were rate right there, right? Rate this buy shell of really, but it did not rate this one. But it rate all oh, this buy shell of really. Every time for us is ten forty five. Hmm.
and stop loss is present above the auto block right the various auto block in this case And target force is the social grid F4 reader. So basically, that's the tray we take. So this is an auto block. You treat the whole move right here is a a swing low, which is gonna be a bearish breaker. And also, we see that uh, the target right here, right? Yes, that the target we try to even though the target is not in this picture, but eventually it can hit this. So let's take this screen shot for now and then we take another swing shot to show the when the target hit Okay, so this target it hit when wow right here it hit around exactly twelve no fourteen nineteen yeah eighty right yes it moved out a little bit up to that. No it moved another 80 cent or 78 cent for that matter 80 78 cent but anyway it did this target here see that yep you see the target hit right here Fourteen, nineteen, right there. So basically today we have two setup trade here, right? They are short setup, breaker, fabric gap displacement, retest, breaker or auto block around here, and retest, boom, go down. And the risk and the wall ratio is really good. 1.5, right, this one is 38. So, what's this? The risk reward is of this one. Uh, which is 0 0.38 cent and then $2.79. So, let's say 40, round up to 40. 
it's also one to six ritual ritual right there that's a very good ritual right there so what we're doing right now we still practice we still try to see the setup in the real time uh, but right now we see it after it form but with enough time and practice and repetition we will get there we can see it in real time uh, look at the volume for today it's about 95 million share almost 96 million share the volume is le less than yesterday yesterday is around uh, 100 million share from yesterday yep anyway time's up we have a wonderful um and a very few for today and talk to you later bye for now